10 Key Points About Olecranon Bursitis Anatomical Understanding The olecranon bursa is a superficial synovial membrane that overlies the proximal ulna at the elbow. This superficial location makes it particularly susceptible to inflammation and irritation, creating a distinctive presentation that clinicians should recognize. Epidemiological Significance Olecranon bursitis stands as the most common form of bursitis, occurring approximately four times more frequently than prepatellar bursitis. The condition shows a marked male predominance, likely due to occupational and activity-related risk factors. Classic Clinical Presentation The hallmark sign of olecranon bursitis is the characteristic goose egg appearance on the posterior elbow. This swelling is well demarcated and fluctuant, creating a distinctive clinical picture that aids in diagnosis. Importantly, the swelling does not involve the actual elbow joint. Etiological factors. Multiple factors can trigger olecranon bursitis, including trauma, inflammation, and infection. Underlying conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and gout can contribute to its development. Notably, approximately 20% of acute cases have a septic origin, highlighting the importance of proper assessment. Occupational Risk Assessment Chronic inflammation often develops from repetitive pressure on the elbow, particularly in occupations requiring prolonged elbow leaning. Plumbers and military recruits represent high-risk populations, emphasizing the need for preventive measures in these professions. Conservative Management Approach Initial treatment for mild cases focuses on conservative measures. This includes activity modification, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs administration, ice application, and the use of protective elbow padding. This approach is particularly suitable for cases with minimal swelling or symptoms. Bursitis aspiration. If conservative management fails to resolve symptoms after approximately four weeks, clinicians should consider referral for more aggressive interventions. This typically includes aspiration and steroid injection marking an important decision point in the treatment algorithm. When aspiration is performed in the emergency department setting, particularly for suspected septic bursitis, the application of a compressive elbow sleeve becomes crucial. This compression helps prevent fluid reaccumulation and promotes healing. Management of recurrent cases. For patients experiencing recurrent episodes, a more structured approach is necessary. This includes consideration of posterior elbow splinting for approximately 10 days and early referral to orthopedic specialists for comprehensive evaluation. Preventive strategies. Prevention plays a crucial role in managing olecranon bursitis, especially in high-risk populations. This includes ergonomic modifications in the workplace, proper protective equipment usage, and patient education about avoiding prolonged pressure on the elbow. Differential Diagnosis While evaluating olecranon bursitis, clinicians must consider various differential diagnoses, including septic arthritis, crystalline arthropathy, and underlying systemic conditions. This comprehensive approach ensures appropriate treatment selection and optimal patient outcomes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.